Hello lovely people. So uh, for those who don't know me, I'm Michal Kalidrix uh, from Tantra Movement. Uh, I'm speaking from uh, my garden in Koh Phangan in Thailand. So uh, I would like to speak uh, today about uh, the solutions uh, for um, our times, uh, for uh, to boost our immune system, to be healthy, uh, to live our life uh, full of love, uh, freedom, and connection. I will speak uh, today about uh, choosing love above uh, fear. Uh, choosing love uh, as a best cure uh, for uh, coronavirus. My intention is uh, um, to bring uh, some solution. I would like to disclaim myself that uh, I'm not a doctor. If you have any uh, symptoms or whatever, uh, go to the uh, physical doctor. Uh, I'm just uh, telling you uh, that uh, love is the best cure for everything. Uh, uh, and the best uh, boost of uh, your immune system. Uh, yes, uh, as uh, any natural uh, medicine, I would say, uh, uh, yeah, it can help uh, into the healing process of uh, everything. Uh, uh, when you are healthy um, and when you are ill, it can help uh, to make the miracles. But uh, sometimes uh, uh, when um, you break your arm, uh, you have to go to the surgery uh, doctor and uh, uh, get this professional uh, help. Yes, you can love yourself as much as you like, but uh, yes, that's the love to yourself. It will guide you to go to this surgeon. So uh, that's uh, uh, the power of love. Uh, sometimes uh, 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 have to be applied uh, indirectly. But uh, when you're really ill, uh, yes, you have to uh, do what. Uh, is best for you also in other ways uh, uh, and still uh, yes love is uh, one of the best uh, thing what make uh, people more healthy it's uh, the best solution for all problems not only for covid but uh, for all diseases uh, it boosts your immune system but also it boosts your life into direction of happiness uh, and that solution is uh, love the biggest power uh, the strongest uh, energy what uh, we are uh, uh, creating as a human beings uh, and uh, yes what solve uh, everything what brings the humanity always in good direction so yes um, unfortunately we're living in the times that we uh, learn a lot uh, years uh, about uh, different subjects like math uh, physics uh, uh, languages, uh, literature, uh, uh, anything. But there is no subject like love. So, uh, yes, uh, Tantra Movement School, uh, it's, um, with its intention, it's uh, trying to fulfill this lack. Uh, and yes, the main uh, thing what we are ta uh, teaching here is uh, uh, to learn how to love better and doing it. Uh, yes, uh, so uh, with these videos, uh, also, uh, we will follow that intention. We would like to bring the solutions uh, for uh, making our world a better place, making uh, your life uh, a better place, making my life uh, a better place, making my partner's life a better place, making the relationship uh, uh, stronger, better, and uh, uh, making a better connection between us. So one aspect of love, uh, it's a connection, connection, yes, so, so this is important, uh, uh, to connect, uh, and uh, yes, in uh, nowadays time, uh, yes, uh, even before Covid, we were separated already uh, on the uh, so-called uh, social, but I would say very often asocial media. I remember in my, in my times uh, uh, when um, uh, I was going in the train, that was normal, uh, that uh, I was talking with someone. If you sit in front of the person, you s uh, have uh, two hours travel, and sometimes you have such a nice connection, then, uh, you know, like with the old lady, you speak about, like, all your issues in your life, and she's speaking about her, and, you know, like, uh, you uh, say goodbye to each other, and you remember that, wow, that was beautiful uh, travel, uh, that was... Uh, 
a beautiful um, spontaneous connection with the person who we don't know and but you know like it was like this now uh, people know each other and uh, uh, the colleagues are coming from the work or from the uh, class from the study whatever and uh, what they do uh, they all uh, looking into the screens uh, and uh, there is no uh, connection in the real world ways. I'm not talking to completely uh, avoid uh, the social media and so because sometimes, especially in these times, uh, talking with someone uh, through video chat, it's uh, the only way to stay connected and uh, that connection is better than no connection. Uh, if you are locked down, uh, yes, connect on the Skype, talk to your family, stay connected in that way, don't forget about your friends about your beloved ones uh, when they are locked down uh, take care that hey uh, i'm here for you uh, do you need uh, to talk about something be friend with them take care for each other use this virtual connection but uh, yes go as uh, to for as deeper connection as possible yes you can do the eye gazing uh, if you look into each other's eyes for longer than 30 seconds you establish the soul connection uh, and that's 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 already uh, also beautiful way of connecting. So uh, yes, um, it's not easy, you know. Like uh, I would say, um, hey, uh, uh, people are locked down nowadays. Uh, they are forced to uh, be in uh, one uh, room, one flat. Uh, sometimes uh, only. By themselves uh, and that's not very nice uh, I would say you know like uh, prisoners in the, in the uh, civilized world uh, uh, I know for example in Netherlands and in Germany uh, have better life sometimes than uh, people in the lockdown who are very innocent in the breaks, you even meet uh, your fellow criminals and so on. And uh, uh, yes, uh, you have even some social life. In some of the circumstances, this um, isolation is worse. The quality of our life, the quality of uh, our connection, it's uh, going down. So, so in this uh, especially times, uh, in these special circumstances, uh, we need to look for the solution, for strong solutions. Uh, I will give you some tips, give you some solutions. Uh, touch, uh, the uh, intimacy, uh, making love, especially in the tantric way, uh, when you don't lose the energy but you bring it up. Uh, uh, that's that's, that's uh, another way of like uh, making yourself healthy with uh, love. Yes, also stay happy, make things what you love to do as much as possible. That also keeps your immune system much more healthy. Happy people are more healthy. So yes, that's also very connected with love. When you are uh, meeting someone, uh, go into like connection of touch. I will give you one tip, uh, what is good to give them the Kids. You know, like not only in the tantric world, but uh, uh, anywhere else, it's already known that melting hugs uh, are very good for the immune system. Uh, uh, when you uh, give the melting hug, and it's not Donald Duck hug that you uh, actually stay separated uh, and you uh, uh, hug each other just uh, 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 with your shoulders, but you connect. Um, with uh, all your chakras, uh, with all uh, your body, you connect, and then um, uh, after 30 seconds of uh, staying in this melting hug, you don't squeeze uh, 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 yourself to each other. Uh, let uh, each other be uh, free to uh, choose uh, how uh, close we would like to be. But you just stay connected, breathe together, and then after 30 seconds, the magic starts. It's amazing. Oxytocin, the happy hormones, start to be produced. And then, you know, like these happy hormones uh, with the other ones, it's like boosting your immune system. So, uh, yes, there are many um, 
scientists who are proving uh, uh, and uh, also Tantra as uh, the oldest uh, science uh, in the world, it's teaching about that, that there is no uh, stronger power than love and there is no uh, anything would influence better immune system than love. Uh, I will tell you uh, a little story about um, before uh, my Tantra time, uh, when I started to, uh, uh, as a teenager, uh, be interested in um, sexuality, I found uh, my parents' book, uh, some uh, sexual guideline book, um, and one thing what I read there, uh, it's a, a beautiful story. Yes, there was written about uh, that actually the best vitamin uh, what uh, people need uh, is uh, love, uh, vitamin L, uh, how it was said in that book. And that's very true. And uh, it was um, uh, proven by uh, some uh, examination uh, what was done. Uh, um, some uh, children uh, were uh, um, taken straight from their mothers and they were uh, left. Uh, uh, in very sterile, very clean, very hygienic uh, environment. Uh, touch with their mothers uh, was limited because, uh, yes, they were staying in incubators and in very sterile environment and so. And there was a group uh, of the kids uh, who were, uh, after the, uh, being born, uh, were held by their uh, mothers and uh, taking care, uh, close care, and uh, uh, yes, uh, the circumstances was not... It was just in the nature. Guess what? After a while, the group of kids who were um, uh, held in the nature, um, in less sterile, but with touch, with uh, uh, having love uh, uh, close uh, to them, uh, their mothers, their immune system was much stronger than uh, uh, those kids who were kept uh, in the sterile uh, circumstances. So yes, uh, that's you know like how the diseases works. Uh, if um, and, and that's how the love works. So so yes, uh, that's uh, one of the solution. Give each other more hugs. Give each other more intimacy. Uh, and of course, yes. Uh, um, as uh, Tantra is teaching, uh, we are teaching you uh, sacred sexuality, the love making, what you don't lose the energy, but you gain the energy through love making, so you can make love for hours and then you also feel stronger. People who are um, um, using uh, Tantra, uh, they uh, look younger, they uh, have more energy, they uh, are more healthy. Uh, yes, uh, I'm talking to you from experience. I very rare uh, get ill. If I get ill, I know why I'm getting ill exactly. I know maybe I overworked or maybe I didn't have enough sleep. And then my body is saying, hey, you have to slow down. Uh, I told you that before and then i feel okay and then yes i get ill but you know i get ill for one day i take rest and then you uh, i'm uh, healthy again uh, so since more than 20 years i didn't took any pills and uh, i can count on uh, the fingers of my hand how many times i felt uh, ill that I had to stay longer than one day and usually three days it was over yes so uh, no any issue I, I would say Tantra sacred sexuality not losing the energy but bringing it up is the main influence of course that I'm not drinking I'm eating healthy food organic as much as possible that I'm eating vegan and mostly fruits that's also influenced that, but Tantra is the most thing with uh, its influence. So in other videos, 
uh, in uh, our online courses. We guide you step by step how to achieve this and how to have uh, not only better health, but also better life. So uh, that's uh, uh, another solution. And of course, uh, yes, not tantric sex. It's uh, always better than uh, um, no sex at all. So, so uh, it's not that I'm saying that uh, um, you have to uh, resign from something or whatever. For the contrary, I would like to um, speak about what influence, uh, what weaken your immune system the most, and that's fear. And uh, fear, uh, uh, you have to realize uh, uh, that uh, it's actually nothing bad with fear. In Tantra, we recognize all the emotions as a, uh, uh, positive emotions. They are uh, for something in your life, and fear also has uh, the positive aspect of it. Uh, fear is uh, to basically uh, save uh, our life from the dangerous situation. It's our natural uh, alarm system, what uh, um, make us aware that something is um, uh, going to happen and if we do not act in a specific way, uh, we uh, gonna die even or we are gonna be in the dangerous situation. Fear is uh, the um, emotion uh, what uh, gives us uh, um, some time, uh, uh, adrenaline shot that uh, it make make us uh, running uh, uh, on such a speed that we never did it before. Uh, we think uh, on uh, thousand percent in every second. We make the quick decisions. There is no split of second that we do not think precise. That's what me, uh, fear us, bring us to this alertness and to, into this like uh, powerful state that to save our life and so. Uh, maybe some of you had um, um, experience and memory from uh, some dangerous situation where every split of the second was uh, noticed there. Like uh, I remember myself uh, when I was uh, falling from the bike, uh, uh, it was just like a split of a second, but every split, every moment was uh, recorded there. I knew what I'm doing at that moment and I, my body, uh, my, my mind created the uh, um, saving position that when I was falling, uh, I saved my head, I saved myself, I didn't injure myself. But uh, that's only thankful, uh, uh, healthy fear, what uh, was uh, at that moment, uh, yes, uh, uh, helping me to uh, think thousand person, be there and now uh, uh, with full capacity. There was no moment for uh, wrong decisions, and so my mind had to be what a thousand percent in every split of the second. So yes, that's that's the like yes, the fear. Uh, w that's what uh, should uh, do that for us. There is uh, nothing wrong with our natural fear, but uh, uh, I have to real we have to realize that we are living with the time, in the time, fear is used to manipulate us, manipulate us on the big scale. If you look uh, at the media news, uh, it's um, every day, you know, like we look at the news and there are things happening, dangerous things happen. We cannot do anything about that, uh, so it's uh, pointless to watch it. Uh, most of the time. Uh, we look at this, we fear, oh, it may happen to us and so, and uh, every day it's uh, like repetition, repetition, repetition. And every day we look at this and uh, so the fear is thinking to us, yes, that oh, the bad things may happen. Look, they happened there, they happened there, they happened to that guy, to that guy. This may happen to us, this may happen to us, and this may happen to us. But accidents happen uh, once a lifetime, twice a lifetime. Uh, and there is no uh, point to be scared about those accidents. So if uh, the TV will say to us, hey, look, 
Now it may happen to you if you don't do. It's very easy way of manipulating through fear. That's how uh, you know from the fear. Uh, uh, against other nations, you know, like uh, that's how the wars are manipulated. Uh, you have to realize this. Nowadays we're facing uh, different uh, fear. There is fear from COVID, from death, uh, but the other people are fear more from isolation, from government, uh, from the circumstances what uh, they will have to live, uh, from uh, 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 losing their jobs uh, from uh, unemployment uh, for the future of their kids. Having uh, financial security, uh, a lot of businesses goes down. Close borders, how long it will take, uh, how long we would not be able to see uh, our beloved ones. For uh, stronger restrictions, uh, we're fearing from, uh, uh, oh, soon maybe we would not be able to do this and do that. Because actually many of our uh, friends uh, already may be facing this. There are too much of the fear, and it's not natural fear. It's not uh, the fear, uh, fear from the direct danger. It's fear from uh, uh, TV, from the news, from uh, something was not directly gonna kill you in that moment. This fear is influencing the planet uh, on the big scale nowadays. The fear is uh, overdosed. Uh, if uh, we start to uh, act from fear, not from law, uh, then we would start to protect our lives in such a way that we will build the cage uh, uh, around us and we stop living. We would stop having the freedom of not having that cage. All that fear uh, created uh, may make us um, uh, die in the future much easier. Our immune system would be much weaker. So uh, that's why uh, choose love now. Uh, don't wait for it. Uh, make good things. Don't wait for open borders or whatever. But start to do things uh, what you will love to do uh, right now. And yes, choose love. There are a lot of people uh, who are uh, uh, forced by situation now to live in isolation and uh, there is a lot of people who uh, get unemployment because uh, of um, these circumstances. Uh, so this creates uh, a lot of depression in the world. Uh, uh, there are more uh, uh, suicidal things, there are more uh, 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 home violence and so on uh, because of this. So, uh, yes, uh, uh, support each other. Uh, we are living in the most safe time uh, ever, uh, uh, according to medicine and many other things, and so on, and so on, and so on. But we are living in the biggest fear uh, uh, as well. You know, like. Uh, the, the, uh, um, there was no medical and technology uh, such a strong like now uh, to uh, solve uh, uh, our medical issues and uh, uh, there are no uh, safest time to um, uh, live, to travel, to uh, uh, do the things, to, you know, like uh, not being attacked by tiger or uh, by uh, some uh, wild uh, person or whatever but yes we are living in the like in the biggest fear uh, it's uh, uh, like a different analogy uh, you know like uh, we uh, are living in the best technologic uh, times with uh, so many uh, things making uh, uh, our life easier but uh, we are the most uh, uh, working hard uh, people and uh, uh, the most unhappy uh, people. Uh, even we have like uh, plenty of uh, uh, um, gadgets and so on. Uh, as modern uh, culture uh, it is, uh, uh, as more most developed civilization is, the less smiling people you see around. So, so this is like the, uh, the, the, the same paradox, but I will not go into it. But yes, love is the best solution. Uh, it's uh, very important uh, to realize this fear uh, is uh, uh, 
manipulated and uh, to not to stay paralyzed by the fear, not to uh, act from the fear, act always from love. Always ask yourself this, the, the uh, question, do I love myself when I uh, uh, um, lock myself uh, down and uh, do I uh, uh, choose this uh, from the fear uh, or do I choose it from the love, love to myself, love to the others and so on. And always be conscious that you do things out of love. That would also help you to uh, build up your immune system as well. Exaggerated fear, panic. Uh, so uh, when there is uh, some dangerous uh, situation, instead of uh, fear helping us to think thousand percent logical and very good uh, super mind uh, and so on, um, it uh, um, it uh, do opposite. Uh, People uh, running into the panic uh, when. Uh, uh, they uh, hear the alarm and then they try to fit uh, into uh, one little entrance with uh, uh, um, thousand people and uh, if they would be uh, all uh, not uh, uh, if they would be familiar with their fear uh, they would not run into the panic the fear would help them to get organized and get out uh, uh, from the uh, dangerous situation through the entrance uh, one by one uh, organized way how it is possible how it is done in the best way uh, the other thing is like when you feel fear and it's see it completely natural yes it's normal to feel fear to feel uh, sadness to feel uh, oh be anxious uh, oh what's uh, uh, it's going to happen uh, uh, but just observe observe your feelings always observe your feelings and when you observe uh, uh, the feelings, uh, uh, you, after a while, um, maybe it take just half a minute, uh, but maybe it may take uh, half an hour. Uh, but uh, after a time, you will see that they dissolve. Uh, if you don't feed your fear, uh, it will lose the power over you. care for each other to just uh, uh, breathe through it and relax about it and always choose um, out of love not out of fear so yes uh, out of love to yourself out of love uh, to uh, your partner out of love to all yes so that's also intention of this video and that's also uh, intention of all our teachings uh, if you like to go further, we invite you to uh, check our website, check our uh, many online courses, uh, uh, what uh, we provide for uh, these uh, circumstances. Uh, uh, of course, uh, you are invited uh, here uh, for our live courses uh, and meet us in the real life. Uh, so uh, we start the program. Uh, again and uh, yes uh, choosing from love uh, not from fear so uh, i wish you all the best um, we love you all uh, thank you for your attention Aho.